said, Feed the Beast, and today we're going to start making on our plans to upgrade our power facility from MFEs to MFSUs. So we'll just jump myself back into a normal view. So we've got pretty much everything now we need. We've got the advanced dial, we've got lots of wire, we've got the makings of carbon plates, so what we're going to need to do is make quite a few of those. So they're made quite simply with coal dust. Coal dust is macerated or pulverized out of just coal. Um, and then these are distributed like so to make raw carbon mesh. The raw carbon mesh goes into the compressor. However, before we do that, I'm going to want to drain the batteries off of the uh, MFEs. So the way they're set up at the moment is there are two of them. Um, we've got one down here and the other one comes out of there. So I want to essentially drain this MFE. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take that out of there and we will clear that. We'll disconnect that and we'll disconnect that. So that should be one full MFE or almost full MFE um, which we can then start draining. So we'll grab that. I don't really need those on me. Uh, we'll grab those raw carbon mesh and stick them into the compressor and off they go. So we'll leave those going for a while. Now the first thing we're going to need to make is the MFSU. So we've got an MFE, that's the one we're draining. We're going to need an advanced machine block so for that we need two advanced alloys and a machine block. So we're going to make some machine blocks um, which is refined iron. I should have plenty of that kicking around. Yep, there we go. Um, and in fact, I'll set another stack of iron refining as well while we're draining the battery. So we'll turn that on. And we need a couple of those because we're going to make two MFSUs eventually. So take those. One, two, that's two advanced machine blocks. Uh, well, two machine blocks, I should say. Um, so then we need two lots of carbon plate, two advanced alloy, um, which we'll run upstairs and grab. So there's a couple. One, two, three, four. And hopefully we'll have a couple in here. One, yeah, that's fine. Just leave one of those up there, don't need it right now. So back down we go, uh, combine those with, I think it was that way round, to give us two advanced machine blocks. We also need advanced circuits, so for, to do that we need electronic circuits. So we better go and get, right, I should have that on me, grab some redstone. Redstone. We can make the circuits up here. I think everything is up here. Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. six. Okay, and then one, two of those, and four of those, and that should give me the circuits necessary for the advanced circuits. If I run down and grab the lapis and the glowstone from downstairs. That will give me my advanced circuits. Uh, da da da. Glowstone, glowstone. Uh, we'll take that one as well while we're at it. And some lapis. And we take those two. And I think it was this way round again. If not, we'll soon find out. Yep, that was right. 
So that gives us two advanced things, and then we need these Lapidron crystals. Now, Lapidron crystals need more electronic circuits, but first we need energy crystals, which are rubies and redstone, and we're going to need a fair bit of redstone. So I did bring some more up from the top of the mine, and we should have a reasonable stack of those. So I need 12 energy crystals. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Stick some redstone in and surround that there, and that will give me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 1 MFSU and that should make 2. Okay. So, armed with those, we can now go to make the Lapidron Crystal. So I need to go and start making electronic circuits. So I need 24. Good God. Um, I think I've got the makings of 24. If not, I'm going to have to go and get some more rubber. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, one of those. And those. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, that's one circuit. And no, I don't have enough uh, to make two right now. I don't think I've got any more rubber kicking around, so we're going to have to uh, do one and then go and get the resources for the other. Okay. However, we can start with these, which, let me get the run these right, is that surrounded by, yep. So, one, two. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. Stick those in. Stick a whole load of those up. And that gives me Lapidron crystals. that up there. I uh, should be able to take that out. And we'll take that out and that out while we're at it. So we can stick those up ready to make our MFSU, which is... Let me get this right. It's one of those. One of those. Those. And an MFE. Which of course we haven't got what time is it getting on to there. Now that is still chugging away. I don't know how my, my power situation is looking like out here, so we'll go and check up on that. Um it's not going down anywhere near fast enough. Really? Uh I could do with speeding that up a little. I think what we'll do is we'll take a break here. I'll go and get some more rubber um, and we'll let that run down a little bit more and use some more resources up. So I'll be back once we've uh, drained that battery. Okay, well, this is taking quite a bit longer to drain that battery than I thought, so I'm just kind of doing semi-pointless tasks here, smelting stone, doing all sorts of things. Uh, I've got rubber running up the top there, but what I can make a start on is the medium volt transformer. Um, so for that, I'm going to need some gold double insulated wire. Okay, so we need gold insulated wire and we need another machine block. Um, and that is simply a case of doing that. That gives us a medium volt transformer. Um, yep, so that's that built. Now we've got a fair amount of rubber coming down there. Uh, we're smelting the old uh, stone there. Converting stone into gravel for no particular reason. But Oh, hey, hey, another 
blob of sulfur. Sulfur goo. Well, sulfur goo is really quite a weird little thing because it drops off these sulfur torches and it acts oops, a little like um, bone meal. Now we're going on emptying this MF. Uh, it's going down a little bit faster now, but uh, I think it's going to take a little while longer. So, while waiting for that, we'll, uh, we'll just um, pop off and have a sleep, and we'll catch you later once we've got this battery emptied. Okay, um, we're not far off empty now, but while we're waiting for that, I'm just going to go to the other project table, because I don't want to muck around with that recipe. One of the other mods I wanted to play with was the camo mod. Which is this one here, Camouflage Paste. Now, essentially, you can stick pretty much any mix of red, green, yellow and black dye with a variety of ingredients. So I'm going to need some dirt. If I haven't got I've got one dirt. I think I could do with a little more than that. I must have some somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Take half a stack of dirt. And make this camo paste, which has got some really cool functions. So, what we're going to do is we're going to basically craft up the relevant dyes. Um, I've just been out while I was waiting for that to uh, thing. So, da, 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 I need some green. Green, green, green. Um, where are we? Cactus, cactus. Uh, we'll make some green dye. Uh, we'll take stop that doing what it's doing and we'll put that in so we just get some green dye out. And by combining that camo paste with various blocks, so iron doors, um, trap doors, blocks, steps, all sorts of things, we can make blocks which are for all intents and purposes invisible. <coughs> and blend into their surroundings. So I'm just going to go quickly sleep the night off and let's have a look. Oh, what was going on? Too far. Too far down. Okay, so if we combine some dirt, say eight stacks of dirt with Eight yellow. Now I need to just double check. There is a mix to that yellow at the bottom, green, red. Okay. Yellow at the bottom. Oh, there's not much point in doing eight. But green and red and black will give me two chunks of camo paste. So, using oh god, get the right item. Using um, this camo paste, we can go and find for starters a use for rotten flesh, which is pretty cool because up until now it's been fairly useless. It's just scrap. So, how are these going? Well, we've got plenty of rubber there, and I think so. If we were to go, if I get this right, it is. Okay, so we go camo paste like that, rotten flesh like that, gives me four ghost blocks. Similarly, if I make a stair like this, so, and again, camo paste, uh, I think it's just camo paste and rotten flesh again, yeah. We get four secret camo stairs, and if I were to make an iron door and mix that with some camo paste, and I believe it's just that, we get a camouflaged iron door. So, why would you want this? Well, <laughs> imagine for a second, 
Oh, there was one last thing I wanted to make, for which I will need um, a torch, an ordinary torch, not a fancy torch. Have we got any sticks? Sticks, he says I really need to get my inventory sorted. Okay, not a problem. And I will need charcoal. No, I'll use charcoal. Never use coal. Ah. Let me get rid of that staff. Because the journal staff's brilliant. It stores torches. But, of course, the drawback is if I want a torch for anything else, I am pretty much stuffed. Blob of redstone. And if I combine a torch and redstone in that pattern, I'll get a torch lever. Now I can go get my staff back and it shouldn't consume that one. It should just eat those. Yep. So, say for example, down here I wanted to have a secret room off of this. Stick a bit of stone down, get me camouflaged to door, place that down, and it's camouflaged to the wrong colour. Bear with me a second. Need to camouflage the block it's on, not the block it's to the side. So we do the same again, and there you go, door. But of course, it's an iron door, so it does need some means of opening it. And there is your camouflage door. I'll pop that to one side though, and I'll stick it over the top. That's the um, Camouflage door. Now, if I were to take out these steps here and place the camouflage steps down, I get a sneaking suspicion it's going to camouflage as that. Similarly, if I take the ghost blocks and place them in there, we've got a secret hidden stair. Anyway, so that's the camo blocks. Just a little aside while we're waiting for the battery to uh, run out there. Get rid of that, don't want that. Uh, don't need those, don't need that. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. So let's go and have a look how the battery is faring. Uh, and while I'm thinking about it, I will want the wrench to remove that. That's a built uh, industrial craft wrench um, needed to remove industrial craft machines such as MFEs and other bits and pieces. That's pretty much empty. So if we right click it, we'll get its um, block back there. I'm going to need to just jump up. And now we can go and create our MFSU. Is. Oh, <laughs> of course, got to remember that you made a hole in the floor and hid it. So if we put our uh, MFE in there, we get an MFSU. We should also have somewhere else up here, because before we can put the MFSU in, we need to transform the power down. So... If I look here, there is, oh, I'll have to go and sort that later. One of the things with these panels is they keep on opening the trapdoors outside. So if we remove the low voltage transformer, that's our first task. And I need to transform. medium voltage to low voltage. So we'll stick our medium voltage transformer in and now I've got to get the medium goes into oh I can't remember which 
this is now. Medium goes in there. I'm probably going to regret this. Yes, I am. Okay. So we can go and map over. And pop that back in. And replace that panel. So that should be the medium, and then we need to take the medium back into L low voltage. So if I place that that way, that should go correctly. I don't want the MFSU, I want you. And popping that in should or not mean that these machines won't explode horrendously the moment we uh, plug the MFSU in. Now the other side of this is... I oh, don't think that was such a good idea in long... is we do want to bring the medium MFSU power in this way. So. If I place that here, that is the wrong way round. Mm -hmm. So we want... I think this is that's alright. And I should then be able to connect that back up to here. No, that's not the right way around then. So this now should be draining the power. Oh, more sulfur goo. From here. So what we need to do is break that. So these stay off while this drains. Now this will drain fairly quickly because this beastie here takes 10 million and that has 600,000 in it. So we'll let that run for a while. We'll just put uh, the wall back in and that bit of panelling. <laughs> and close that while we're out here and then we'll uh, go and have a snooze while that drains. Okay, so that's draining, um, that's all wired in, so the last thing to do, and this is where we find out if we made a complete cock up or not, is wire that back in. And judging by the fact that I haven't heard a huge bang from upstairs, this seems to be wired in okay, those are powered, so everything is fine on that score. Um, can't see what the charge is on that but that's no major problem. Let me just pop that in there and let's go and check on what's going on around here then. So this is now wired in so I can stick the dirt back there and there. I can take that out and that out and when we wire our solar panels back in that'll be fine. This is almost half empty already so let's go and start making the second one. No, I'm going to 
gonna have to do something with those locks there. They're all well and good, but they're not ideal by any stretch of the imaginations. Now I need to make these into energy crystals, so for those I need more circuits. I think I probably need more copper. I certainly needed more rubber. So taking got two and I need twelve. So we should be able to do this and that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 9, 10. That's 10 worth. I might as well do the rest. And we've got refined iron, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, stick those in there. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We'll make me 10 of those. Which will give me enough of those to make that, so um, we've got the lapis, probably not enough, but we've got lapis. So let's just go down here, grab another stack of lapis. Or part stack of lapis. And we can stick our da -da -da, stick that up. What's myself? What did I do with my circuit? Did I leave the circuit up there? I did. <coughs> Need to think about the designs sometimes when you build these buildings. Not always the uh, most effective, shall we say. Um, and that will give me a Lapatron crystal. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. machine block the advanced circuit so it's just the MFSU which if I've got my wrench there which I have I think you should be able to run around and grab that now yeah that's as empty as it can be almost completely empty now so we've got that <coughs> and Let's go and make the uh, last MFSU. Bang. One MFSU in the back. Two actually, but... I'm going to wire this one in, and uh, that should be that now. Probably need to uh, chop this floor up a bit. Because I need that pointing down. That is empty. That goes in there. That goes in there. These should now be on generating. That will keep on going up and down while it charges the other one. So that's good. And this one should be filling up rapidly, which it is. Um, so with that in mind, we can just... Now why am I down the cable? I don't know. Let's go get one. And that should be that now. I suppose I could take that out. to get to that which 
as you can see is charging rapidly um, but it's going to take quite a while to charge that up fully the lava tank is still full because the machines themselves the geothermals probably haven't burnt off enough yet so yeah that's um, our power upgrade done with that kind of power we can now start to play with mass fabrication and all sorts of uh, wonderful fun devices take that out uh, have the bone meal out leave that to know but we can, we can stop that really and take the bones out of there and yeah, so we're upgraded. We've got our secret warehouse level, which uh, I may need to rethink. Because those blocks are a bit of a pain. And uh, pretty much it for this episode. Okay, well, thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, next episode we'll start getting on with some more advanced machines and maybe start building our sorting facility.